Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. In today's episode, we're going to be drawing an order of french fries. Now, french fries are delicious. They're found on almost every dinner plate in America. It's true. And they're made out of potatoes, which are fun. So let's draw some. Now, some people might draw an order of french fries as a styrofoam box, but I like to go a little bit more retro and draw the paper sleeve. So let's do that. I like to start with a nice diagonal line. Not too diagonal. Something like that. Then come over a little bit and make the opposite line. A diagonal line going back the other way. Connect those two at the bottom with a straight line and a curved line. Looks familiar, huh? Next, we're going to be making the top. So just a curve over here and a curve over here. And then make a curve going between those two. So I'll bring this down like that. Always remembering to keep the pen coming towards us whenever we're trying to get extra control. And trying to follow... Oh gosh, I did a bad job. <laughs> and trying to follow the other side. Well, I missed a little bit, but it's not a tragedy. It's just a drawing. Let's draw the french fries. See how badly I do that? They're just french fries. All you really have to do is make straight lines, kind of like that. Just a whole bunch of them. Pretty much in the same direction. Makes it easier. Then all you have to do is put tops on the french fries. Like that. Little squares or diamonds, if you will. Maybe you're making trapezoids. I don't know how fancy you are. But after you get the first row of french fries done, you'll put a second row in and give it a little bit more depth. Or at least I will. Can't really say what you're going to be doing because I can't see you through the camera. I am not the NSA. So now we'll just bring up a couple more lines in the back like that. Not too many. And top those with little squares. And you can put as many fries in your little box as you want to. You can supersize it. It's up to you. Some people used to call these um, freedom fries. I don't know if anybody still does that. This is basically the pattern you're going to be doing to make fries inside the box. It's just straight lines topped with these little squares. And you can use the point, this little bottom part here, to create where the shadow will be. Do you see how you just color into the left of those little points? And that'll give your french fries a little bit of depth. It's not a fancy trick, but there you go. I like the sound of the magic marker there, you know? <laughs> uh, any other spaces you have left over, you can make little shorter ones up front, like that. Or even in the middle, like over here. Just make a little square, find the point, draw the line down, and color it in. Now we have what looks like an order of french fries. And if you want, you can even decorate the box. Give it some shadowing or a pattern. Maybe you want to put a logo onto it. Remember, it's easy to draw a circle if you just draw two halves of it. Then you can put whatever symbol you would want. I'm going to put a pie on my fries. They're pie fries, I guess. 
color in the bottom if you want. I like to do that. Maybe even just a little extra shadowing right around the edge, like that. Oh, I like the way that looks. It is not horrible. It's not great, but you know, it's not horrible. One last fry, and I guess that's all we go. All we have to do. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, where nothing could possibly go wrong. If you did, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of them. Uh, share them with your friends. Share them with your enemies. Share them with the government. I don't care. I have nothing to hide. It's a Reverend J. Goldstein. I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time. Ta-da!